What is up everybody? Robert back again with another video for you guys. This video I'm going to be talking about sand hauling in the oil field. We're going to be talking about the pros and the cons of sand hauling, what to look forward to and what not to look forward to as you guys decide to take your careers into sand hauling in the oil field. So like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottoms of your screens. Turn on those bell notifications so that you guys get notified every single time that I post content. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video. So we're getting ready to head back out to work, getting all of our stuff together and everything. But a little bit of my background is that I started my trucking journey in the oil field. So I've been working in the oil field since 2015 and that's where it all started for me. So my combined years of experience is about six years. So I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to jobs out in the oil field. Now through those years of experience, I have hauled everything between sand, water, fuel to frac sites, worked on drilling rigs, pulling units, you name it, I've done it. I've been out in the oil field for a very long time, but wanted to give my personal opinion about the pros and the cons of sand hauling specifically since if you look back on my videos video i did about sand hauling has been the best video that i've made so far and it's got the most views so it tells me that you guys are definitely interested in knowing a little bit more about sand hauling now the first thing that you guys should know about the oil field is that it is a pretty good career you can make really good money probably more money than you would over the road and that's just the fact now as far as the oil field being for everybody that really depends on the person and really what your goals are in life i can tell you that a lot of people that go out to the oil field don't always succeed because it's just not for them well let me turn on one of these lights give you guys a little bit more uh, so you guys can actually see me get a light turned on maybe the other one too there we go excellent lightage in here excellent lighting all right that looks a lot better on video hopefully but before we go ahead and start with the pros and cons of sand hauling i just want to say thank you guys for all of my or i should say thank you to all of my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel we actually just hit a thousand subscribers as you guys all know that was one of my goals was to hit a thousand subscribers before the year ends and so i just want to say i appreciate you guys so much thank you but now that's out the way let's get into the video so first let's talk about the pros of sand hauling what can you expect as far as it being a good job to have in the oil field. So let's go ahead and start talking about the pros. Now the first pro that I have about sand hauling is that if you guys don't know already the oil field is pretty tough work. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of the jobs in the oil field even jobs for truck drivers require you to be really physical I should say. Uh, very physical actually and it does take a lot of hard work on your part to be successful in the oil field. But the good thing about sand hauling is that even though at times it can be challenging you're not necessarily going to be doing all of the physical labor work that you would see in any other job in the oil field so that's a good thing in my book now the next pro about sand hauling is that you can definitely make over a hundred thousand dollars a year but now to make that hundred thousand dollars you are going to have to work for it that means putting in a lot of loads but the money is there if the person who is pursuing that career of sand hauling is willing to work make the most of it you definitely can make a over $100,000 per year. Now, the next pro that I have about sand hauling, and this is just my personal opinion, is that it's not really that complicated of a job. Basically, if you look at my last video, the work consists of really just go into a sand facility or a loadout point and that may be like a sand plan or something like that they do have a lot of them in west texas if you're going to or if you're coming to west texas you definitely have a lot of sand plants where they actually make and crush the sand there or if you're in other parts of the country you may even have it brought in on railhead but basically the job's pretty easy those people at the sand facilities will load you or they'll have some kind of technology there that loads you out of the silo and basically your job is to just make sure your po number matches what type of sand that you're going to be hauling make sure that they load the right sand and then make sure that sand gets to the frack site in a reasonable amount of time and that's about it now this next pro could just really depend on how you look at it but most sand companies or companies who haul sand or contract for frack companies will not necessarily run an electronic logging device because you're usually within 150 miles of a nearest terminal so they'll run a timesheet stay away from the el these and it, like I said it really depends on how you look at this but for the most part anybody that you go to work work for hauling sand will 
keep a timesheet and you will be running a timesheet. So no more fighting the times on the ELD, trying to make sure that you're there or you're stopped, trying to get a parking spot um, because that, like, like you guys know that are truck drivers, that's usually few and far between. So it makes the overall truck driving experience a little bit more relaxed, in my opinion. Now, most people ask me why is sand hauling so popular with truck drivers? And I believe the reason is because, I mean, the experience level, you don't really need a lot of oil field experience. You really just need a, a little bit of OTR experience and pretty much anybody can haul sand. You really don't necessarily need to know exactly how the frack works, even though you will eventually learn how a frack works just by working out there doing the job, but it's not necessarily required whenever you get a job hauling sand. And that's another pro I like to touch on is that the experience level, you don't really need to be a seasoned, experienced oil field worker to haul sand. You can literally just come from your over the road job, jump into a company that hauls sand, and then just go to town, make as much money as your heart desires. And that's pretty much the, uh, the gist of how sand hauling works in the oil field. And I'd say that that's why it's so popular among truck drivers. So pretty easy, so pretty easy job to get into. Now, coming over to the cons of sand hauling, and this is something that you guys should ponder upon before you actually get stuck out here, actually come to work hauling sand in the oil field. So one of the cons that I need to address is going back to like the electronic logging devices and running the timesheet. Now coming out to the oil field, it's it's really no secret that a lot of us do run a little bit dirty if I do say so myself. And what do I mean by dirty? Well, in the oil field, it's a common practice to run over the hours of service. And I'm not saying that everybody runs over the hours of service, you can definitely run legally and still make decent money. But as far as like the loads being available and being able to take those loads, it may require you to run a little bit over your hours. Just because the loads are really dependent on the frack site, very dependent on the frack site if I say so myself. So if the frack site doesn't have any loads for like say the first four hours of your shift, you're not gonna get a load. Now let's say the loads come in going like towards mid shift or towards the end of your shift, well you're gonna be expected to haul those loads even though at that time you may be running out of hours but the oil field does offer oil field truck drivers I would say a little bit of an exemption as far as being oil field so what we do is we call that the oil field exemption law and you would be oil field exempt for the most part and I'll try to make a, a, a separate video about oil field exemption and exactly how it works I've touched in it in my other videos so if you guys want to go check any of those out you can definitely go check those out and I kind of explain how oil field exemption works and how they run out in the oil field. Now, the next con to sand hauling is that, like before, you're really dependent on the frack site. So loads are not available all the time or every single waking hour of the day. Sometimes you will have moments or times where you're not doing anything. You're just pretty much sitting in the truck waiting and you will do that quite a bit. And let's say you just like running during the day. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Or let's say you just like running at night well that's that's okay but most of the time that's not really how the loads work out so you may end up running like half day half night I mean just all kinds of different times of the day just be prepared that that might be something that you're going to have to do now talking to my owner operators out there and a lot of you guys have asked these questions on whether or not you should put a truck hauling sand out in the oil field and that really depends on you I would say if you have a newer truck or a newer model truck anything like like that's pretty good over the road and there's not a lot of issues with it it's in really good condition I would highly recommend that you guys think about not putting those trucks in the oil field and the simple matter is if you guys don't know already we run a lot of leash roads out in the oil field and most of the time it will destroy that good over the road truck that you have it will completely mess those things up and I'm talking things like bearings leaf springs shocks tires kingpins Pretty much anything to do with your suspension, you can bet that you're probably going to end up replacing a lot of that stuff as you work out in the oil field. Because I'm telling you right now, those roads are unforgiving and they will tear up a truck in a heartbeat. So my best advice, if you guys are owner operators or want to put a truck of your own out in the oil field, don't get something that's brand new or something that's really good. That would be a good over the road truck. I would go get me the biggest beater that I could find or an older truck 
that you don't mind tearing up, probably one that's very inexpensive. And I would just put that out there in the oil field because I promise you for me, I wouldn't be putting anything that's a good piece of equipment out in the oil field because I promise you that it will just end up getting tore up. Now guys, coming to another con of mine, and this is for you guys who are owner operators because I think a lot of you guys are interested in putting trucks on. At least from my last video, that's kind of the data that I gathered. Um, as far as like putting a truck out here, like I said, it will beat your truck to death. Another thing that you're gonna have to contend with is mechanics that are pretty much trying to take advantage of truck drivers out in the oil field because they know how much money you're making and that you're making really good money. And so since they know that, they're probably gonna end up charging you a lot more to fix something than let's say a regular mechanic would back home. For those of us that live in El Paso, cause I live in El Paso and I drive, you know, if I ever, when I worked in the oil field, I would drive three and a half hours up to Midland or Pecos, Orla, wherever you have it. Um, and, and I would go work up there. And when I had a truck out there, what I would do is bring my truck back to El Paso to get fixed. And this is when I was hauling sand for another owner operator, even my own truck. It's better just to bring it back home so that mechanics here that you know can fix it because I promise you, you will probably end up paying 20 or 30% more there in the oil field than you would back home. Especially if it's something big like a clutch or bearings or leaf springs, whatever you have it, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. Shoot, I remember having to change out a wheel seal and a mechanic had charged us almost, I think $850 to do one wheel seal. So that's just coming, I mean, that that's to the point where that should be illegal, but it's just something that you need to keep in mind uh, before you bring a truck out to the oil field. I promise you, the these mechanics know they will take advantage of you every step of the way. I promise you that. Now, one more con that I think everybody should know about is that loads are not consistent every single week. So if you do come to haul sand, you will have great weeks. I promise you, you'll have, you know, $3,000, $4,000 weeks at times. And for owner operators, you may have, you know, eight to $10,000 weeks and probably not using that much fuel as you would over the road. But the loads are really inconsistent because like I said, you're dependent upon the frat company and the contracts that your company that you're leased onto has with those frat companies. And remember, if a frat goes down or it's broke down, you're not going to be hauling sand to that frack site and sometimes I've seen fracks be down for five or six days and just know between those five and six days that they're down you're not going to have any work so it's good to get with a lease company that has a lot of contracts with frack companies that can keep you consistently busy because I know that was the biggest problem when I was hauling sand and that's kind of the reason why I don't haul sand anymore. Because I have done it. I mean, in my last video, you guys might've thought that I was talking crap about sand haulers and I wasn't really talking crap because I've, I've hauled sand for sure, not that long. But I remember that was the biggest thing I had to contend with was when the frack went down, I'd have five or six days that I wasn't working. And so really it hurt my pockets and my checks were not that great during those weeks. So just keep that in mind. There are gonna be weeks like that. But anyway, I wanted to make this video for you guys because I thought there there could be more information out there about frack sand hauling. What to expect, because I know going into a new new job, something that you're not comfortable with or something that's brand new to you, there's not a lot of information out there. And I just kind of want to, from a first-hand basis, kind of give you my opinion about things and what I think about frack sand hauling. And I hope this video brought you guys some value as far as knowing a little bit about, a little bit more about what the job entails and what to really expect if you're going out to haul fracks sand. So guys, I know this isn't kind of the same content that I like to make and I'm not really just a talking head here, but I will be bringing you guys some better content, some more over the road flatbedding content because if you guys don't know, I'm back over the road for right now. I just needed to take a break from the oil field because if you guys know from my last videos, the truck that I was driving in the oil field was, uh, it was a box but I want to bring you guys some other different content as far as like hearing me talk I want to show you guys a little bit more about what I do with the job of flat bedding kind of how I drive how I flatbed you know securement of different product and stuff on the flatbed so that's what I want to bring to you guys and that's what we're gonna be talking about the majority of the time now I will be talking a little bit more about the oil field and you know trying to give you guys some of the knowledge that I have and pretty much pass that along so that you guys will be prepared if you guys are thinking about going the oil field now there may come a time where I might go jump back in the oil field just right now I just wanted to take a little bit of a break I've made money this year and all of my bills 
bills are caught up and I just want to spend more time with my family than what I was spending with them. And so this was a good move for me, but if you guys are wondering why the what happened to the oil field or why I'm not doing the oil field thing uh, anymore, it's not that I took, you know, I'm, I'm never going to do it again. I probably would or will go back out to the oil field just at this point in time. I just kind of want to sit down, reset, relax a little bit, do some more OTR work and go back to doing what I like, which is flatbed. And I really love flatbedding and uh, really enjoy that type of work. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's what the majority of my videos are going to be about coming from now on forward. So hopefully you guys stick around with me. I got some really good content coming. I promise you guys did pick up a GoPro at the store a couple days ago. So the video quality should be a lot better than what I was doing with just my phone. And I do it for you guys, man. I thought that you guys would enjoy the better video. You could see a little bit more of what's going on. I can actually attach this GoPro to like say my hat or my hard hat or something so that you guys can see what I see when I'm either going down the road or securing a load or tarping or whatever it may be. But anyway, guys, Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoy making videos for you guys. I appreciate every one of you guys and thank you guys so much. We are at a thousand subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. I thank you guys. And like always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screens. Turn on those bell notifications so that you guys will get notified every single time I put content out there. And make sure you drop a like on this video because it really helps the channel out and helps me out. That's all I'm asking of you guys. Just, just, just go ahead and drop a like. Just drop that like button right there. But anyway, guys, until next time, peace.